Hello, I'm Gary Buchek, member of the Governmental Affairs Team at the Paraline Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to ParalineBoats.com, an advocacy initiative of the Government Affairs Team. This program enables you to go to ParalineBoats.com website to review pre-submitted questions individually answered by each candidate. You will also find a short video of each candidate, thus giving you an opportunity to listen to their views on various issues pertaining to their realm of responsibility. Today we have with us Sean Murphy, one of two candidates running for Paraland ISD position four. Sean, thank you for joining Paraland. Thank you, Gary. Home. Thanks for having me here today. Sean, tell us your number one priority should you be elected. Great. Well, Gary, my number one priority if I'm elected, again, is to have a pathway for all students. Uh, I don't have any special interest, and again, I want to make sure that we have a uh, complete education for all of our students, whether it be GT, Special Ed, uh, Turner High School, Vocational Technical School, Athletics, things like that. I think that we need a balance in the district and I think I can help bring that balance. My number one priority along with that again is the recruitment and retention of top teachers. You know, we've got to be very competitive in our pay and the way that we pay our teachers. Otherwise, they'll go to different uh, surrounding districts. Where so. do we stand in the rankings of those with the local, with the local districts, do you know? Well, I believe in the past few years we've been able to bring the uh, minimum salary just above 50000 So there are some uh, things that we need to work on. There's some programs that we can have in place that teach our, uh, that train our teachers to become better teachers. And obviously having uh, strong and skilled principals will yield better, better results for our, our school. Okay. What do you think is the greatest need for Pearland ISD? Um, again, I think that we need to focus on a couple things. I think obviously school finance continues to be an issue. Um, I think we, uh, as, as if I'm elected, need to continue to work with local leaders along with Larry Taylor and Ed Thompson to you know, fight for more funding. Again, there's a lot of inequity right now. Um, we're starting to see some uh, changes and hopefully um, we can get some more funding. But again, we have to work with our elected officials to, to push to do that. Um, again, I think balance to the board, uh, just focusing uh, on our teachers and focusing on uh, all students to make sure that, that we have a, a path for them when they graduate, whether it be um, workforce ready or, or college ready post high school. You know, so I, I've heard the word fundraising come up occasionally in, in addition to, to, uh, to the federal funding and, and state funding. I mean, where, where do you, what do you feel about that? Well, you know, um, Booster clubs. And Booster clubs have come up. Um, again, you know, I've, as a banker in my past experience, I've written budgets. Um, I've worked with budget strategic planning. So um, I hopefully I can bring some value to the board in that, you know, we have to do more with less. You know, we only get so much funding per student, so we have to strategize and figure out how we can get more out of our dollars. And again, I think my experience as a banker uh, brings that. And, and, and the last thought is, is we've asked this, is do you think that online education will eventually transcend into the public school? You know, that's an interesting topic. I really haven't looked much at that. Um, I think I took a few online courses when I was in college that, that were beneficial, that maybe didn't need instructional. Um, but again, I think that was something I'd have to get a little bit more background on and, and okay. find out. So. So everybody, uh, please remember to exercise your responsibility to vote on May the 9th. Early voting begins April 27th. Tell all your friends and family, and I'm Gary Buchek. Thank you for using ParalandVotes.com, and thank you, Sean, for joining thank us you, this Gary. morning.